What's up you guys? It's Bus Driver 36 here. In the previous video, we talked about we were talking about we were talking about the history of South Line Transportation. But if you want to look at part one, link in the description, I'll put I'll, uh, a link in the description if you want to check part one. And we're gonna do um we're gonna do bus three hundred to fifty. Last time we did bus um bus thirty two to two ninety nine, I believe. Yeah, that much. And we're gonna today we're gonna be we're gonna be doing part two. And today we're gonna be we're gonna be we're gonna be looking at bus three hundred to five hundred, which that'll be in the nineties. We're we're looking at the eight we were looking at the eighties and seventies and 90s early 90s buses right now we're going to be going into the 90s so let's look let's get it 303 a 1991 thomas gmc 600 with a manual 40 passenger and here's the bat the body we're going to do this every video take you we'll give you a look what it looks like we got some turn signals we got some we got some visors on the roof. Of course, your typical C2. I mean, not C2, but I mean, uh, Tom, uh, Thomas GM chassis and Chevys and stuff. Your typical Thomas bodies. Um, 310 is a 1990 or 1991 Thomas Chevrolet C60 with a 66 passenger. It's going to take me time to get into straight. I'm going to have to get my life straight. 314 to 315, and uh, that's a 1989 or 1990. Mainly lifeguard Chevrolet, uh, not Chevrolet, but I mean GMC 6000, 54 passenger. 317, 1988 or 1990. Bluebird GMC 6000, 54 passenger, just like that. Well, I'll give you a look, you know what? Just for the hell of it, I'm just gonna give you a look you know just why not it's not here it is here's some turn signals yeah it's Wayne buses Wayne lifeguards are mostly rare nowadays because however I think in the late 2000s they probably removed these buses for good in 2008 or 9 retired and retired like a long time ago these are like really old buses those are like way before other people were born. Unless people were lucky. Unless you were busted deuce in the 80s or 2000s. I bet you'll probably know this. Um, nine, um, 336 and 1981. Thomas Chev uh, GMC 6000. The Chevrolet Mark v uh, IV 6.0 V8. A 5-speed a fi a manual. Uh, 66 passenger body retired in the early 2000s, relisted in the sale in the late 2019, being converted into an RV and pro propane power. So here's the bus. I guess, however, it got sold somewhere in the early 2000s, and they said they were converted into an RV. Oh, jeez. 340, a Thomas Minotaur, Chevrolet Van 30. Oh my gosh, that's, those are pretty interesting. These are pretty interesting buses. Holy crap. Look at this bus. Yo guys, spam, spam the weird, this is kind of, this is like one of these, these are kind of like weird looking buses. This is like, this is not what I expected. Like it has like the Chevrolet door and. The only difference is they have like the truck door and then just cut it up and then just put the whole passenger in. Well, no, you get like a a Type A bus. Yeah, these are like there's a I think this is like their first Type A bus, I believe. I believe this is Southland's first Type A bus, I believe. 340 is probably like their first Type Type A buses, which I believe it's a their 24 passenger, and it's unknown. It's an unknown year. Who knows? Who knows what year is this thing? 349 and 1984 or 1985 Thomas Chevrolet C60. 48 passenger, 555 to bus 56. 
Chevrolet C60, 66 Passburger. Bus 57. Or to bus 58. 1980s Thomas Chevrolet C60. Or a 72 Passburger. Bus 81, bus 61 to 62. It's a 1990, 1993 or 1994 Thomas International 3700 30, with an Aristar T444. Um. With an Allison 72 passenger 361 was still active as 20 of 2013. Oh, okay. So there's the bus. I think it had retired in 2014, I believe. But here's a 363, a 1980 or a 1982. Bluebird GMC 6000, 66 passenger, and there's no picture. Um, here's 64, two bus 404, 1985 Bluebird 4B 700, Ford New Holland 6.6 a liter I6, and then it says uh, purchase in 1994 or 1985. Bus 375 returned in of the summer of 2012. However, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Look at this bus. Yeah, at least it did have a good run as it lasted, you know. How old was that? They said they would purchase it. They purchased it in 19. So it would have been like about five or six years old when they probably purchased it. Oh, this is one of those buses. Oh, look at this. A 1987 or 1988 Bluebird International S1800 Navistar DT466. Or 666. With a 72 passenger volume. Air brakes and rear air ride suspension equipment. Oh, that's quite cool. Let's look at the bus. Holy crap. Well, it's actually kind of weird. They don't have the stripes like an identical, you know, your normal. Um, that kind of reminds me of my of my bus collection, except with the black grill. So there's four hundred five and four hundred six, night two thousand nine. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool information. Four hundred eight to four twelve, nineteen ninety two, Bluebird International thirty hundred. Navistar DT four six six. With a seventy two passenger, air brakes, rear air ride, suspension equipment. Of course, just like just like the nineteen eighty seven, nineteen eighty eight Bluebird. Um that bus. They also equip my data. Four thirteen, a nineteen ninety two Thomas Visa, Navistar, Navistar DT four six six. 72 passenger, 8 brakes equipment, rear axle air ride equ equipped. Four s 14 to 416 is a 1993 Thomas Visa Navistar as 72 passenger. Retired around around 2010 or 2011. So here's the bus. Yeah, these buses are quite rare these are quite rare buses um even though we did see them in one of the other video from uh from the uh bus canadian uh bus bus yard canada edition from one of our other videos from the southland you know the southland from 189th street like like not the other one but i mean the one on the north side in edmonton and probably in 2016 or 15 we saw these, but that was the last time we saw them on Google Maps. However, so they probably retired in 2016. Or they were about to retire anyways. But this one actually retired early. Around around just 17 or 18 years in service. Yeah, this bus is quite... These are quite rare buses nowadays. However, because... Yeah, these are quite rare nowadays because these are pretty old buses. But it's quite cool to see these buses on picture um, back in 2008.
And here's bus 417 to 420, 1986 Bluebird, Chevrolet C60, Chevrolet Mark, IV 6.8, lead 2.0 liter V8, 66 passenger. Um, from the county of Sternina schools. Purchased in 1995 with propane power. Huh. Here's a picture of the bus. Here's a great view of the bus, what it looks like. Quite interesting for this bus. 19, 1985, it was been purchased. Okay, here are some really interesting buses. 421. Bus 421 to bus 2424, which is a 1986 or 1987 Wayne Lightford Chevrolet C60, Chevrolet Mark IV 6.0 V8, 72 passenger, and here's the bus, which I'll actually will see in a bit. Here's the bus. This is what it looks like in 2009. So this time it does have one of those stripes on on one of its sides. Here's a really good view of that street. It's pretty unique, but look at all that. Look at all the rust. Jeez. Like jeez. That that's not that's not good. However, 422 was scrapped in May 2021 as of that time when they got retired. So it had retired in 2021 and got scrapped completely um yeah i guess one of the buses got scrapped probably retired later um 2021 may 2021 that'd be like pretty like about around just about around 35 or just about around 35 years in service or 34 or somewhat in service and they got scrapped bus 426 to bus 427 1989 or 1990 Thomas Chevrolet C60 with a Chevrolet Mark IV 6.0 liter without the V8, which I think it may be V8 a bit. 66 passenger propane improvement 427 was rebranded to 410 4810 in 2011 to 2012, just like the other buses. Well, there were before. Oh, okay. Um, just a, pretty much with 208 in, in that view. Um, here's the bus. Because that's what it looks like now nowadays. It just looks pretty, you know, not showing it here pretty badly, but it's pretty okay. 428 to bus 432. 1990 or 1991, Thomas GMC 600. The Sherry Mark IV 6.0 V8, I think. Or right, they're not going with the V8. I think there's no V8s on that bus. It's the 66 passenger propane power 428 and oh, to bus 28 and bus 29. We brand it to 411, 4011, and 4812 in 2011, 2012. 429 is a wheelchair lift equipment. Equip. Pretty, pretty interesting. Here's the bus. Okay, let's go to bus 34. To bus 34. Let's go bus 434 to bus 436. It's a 1989 or 1990 Thomas Chevrolet C60, 40 passenger body. I'm also gonna give you a picture. There it is. So I think we did actually post. We actually did a video of it like the other time. Oh, this one. This one's really, really serious. I think this was. I think this is the one I made a little bit of mistakes. It comes to GMCs. Uh, four eight, 37 to 441. It's a 1995 Bluebird GMC CV200 with a Cat 3116. Nice 72 passenger. 437 were bounded to 4815 in 2011 or 2012. All units retired by 2016. 
And here's it. Plus 19. I think by the time it actually retired, it would be around, it would be definitely about around 21 years old. So I guess it was a good thing it retired, obviously. Here's another, uh, I guess next to it, there's a, there's a North Carolina, or is it a, probably a Canadian bus with as the, with a North Columbia, um, spec on the side, which, that obviously looks interesting. 444, 450. Uh, 1989 Bluebird International 3800 with an average DT 360 72 passenger air brakes rear rear air rides 451 460 and 1983 Thomas Visa Navistar T 44 72 passenger four uh, 451 rebounded Rebrand two forty eight sixteen in twenty eleven twelve, which I bet most of them actually went. Unfortunately, in in four cities in we spotted, we spoiled spotted retiring and and we're parted out in May May nineteen twenty ten. Here's the nineteen eighty three. Let's be in May two thousand. Oh, there's more interesting buses coming up, which you can stay tuned. Um, 481 and 482. Uh, 461 and 462. 1990 Thomas International 3000. The Navistar T44. 72 passenger body. And this is a pretty interesting Type D bus, which actually would be called the first Type D bus they actually purchased in the longest bus ever. I think this will be their first longest bus, 464 to 466, a 1985, mainly, mainly, uh, Life, Life Star, Life Star, GMC S-7, at 84, 84 passenger body, which is actually pretty much their, well, their first Gen X, no, not Gen X, but I mean, I mean, their first Type D, flat bus which is pretty amazing look at that posted in 26 2006 this is pretty awesome i can't believe there's actually there's a such thing as that as a uh wangings uh type d bus which is probably pretty much their first type d bus they actually purchased which is pretty and awesome because yeah that's pretty rare seeing uh they mostly purchased like type a or type b or type a um, type c buses but whatever. Uh forty seven, nineteen eighty one. Lane mainly mainly lifeguard uh GMC six hundred with a turbo diesel eight point two eighty V eight with a as an at slash four at dash four seventy five a sixty six party body. Medicine had transit three point three thirty three Purchased in 1984, which was not pretty old back then. Uh, 468. Um, it's a 1989. A 1989. Oh, besides 11. Uh, Wayne lifeguard GFC 600, 66 passenger body. However, it retired in April 2011, which we do have a little bot. We'll take a look, and here's the bus, I guess. 2006. Not bad in those days, but here it is. Let's look at this. Let's look up here. Um, four, 470 to 471. 1984 or 1991. Gordon MB 111, I think it's called, or 2. MB2, a Ford M Quano Lion 350, a 24 passenger body. Yeah, these buses are pretty interesting with their brand and their names, but yeah, it is what it is. A 2010. There, here's the bus. That's what it looks like. Yeah, actually pretty old. 
No, no, look at the look at the bumper. It's like crooked. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they probably already retired by then, but however, there's no information about that. Uh, 472, two bus 70, 74, 1996 Corbe 4E450. It's a Ford Power Stroke 7.3 liter. Ford is brand by Ford, of course. 74 passenger, 472, and bus 473 were rebranded to 4418 to-AK4E819 in 2011 and 12. So there's a lot of buses that are actually been renumbered because of, obviously, I don't know, for some reason. Uh, who knows how long they would take, but all we can look at the bus. This bus right now, that's what it looks like. Uh, but, yeah, it is what it is. Oh my gosh, I almost skipped everything. Bus 77, uh, bus, bus 477, to bus 487, a 1996 Thomas Visa Navistar 4 T44E. 72 passenger. Four units rebrand to four forty eight twenty and four eighty four twenty twelve. Four twenty eight four eighty three to bus four eighty seven rebounded to 4824 2 bus 4828 and 2011 2012. But it's what the four unit rebounds. What they're talking about. What you're talking about. I don't know what they're talking about. I'm so confused. There's two units of the same. Oh, they're talking about the other buses right here. I think they were talking about this buses. The other buses. Okay. I understand. Okay. I'm just kind of confused at the moment. Four new one. 49 and 1995 Thomas International 3800 Navistar T44E um, 40 passenger body rebranded to to 4829 in 2011-12. Here's the bus. This is what it looks like. Oh, I think I should show you the Visa bus. Okay, what we're almost done, so hang on. Four ninety one unknown Bluebird International Dirty Hundred the Navistar four four E. Four four E. Thirty eight thirty six passenger body. And then here's two there's the two last buses. Uh, bus four ninety four to bus four ninety nine, nineteen ninety six, Thomas International Dirty Hundred. With a Navistar DT 466. 72 passenger body rebranded to 4832 bus 4835 in 2011 2012. What is with all the old buses just getting rebranded numbered to higher numbers? Like, what is with Southland in some days? Those days. And 5, 500, 1992 Thomas International Dirty 100. 72, 72 passenger body, air brakes and rear air rides, suspension equipment, tail side passenger windows, luggage base. Here's the bus. Kind of has that New York spec on there, which I didn't explain about the spec up there, which is pretty interesting. Here's another bus, 550, which we'll probably talk about in the next video. So if you guys are new, Please smack that like and hit the bell to notification, and we'll talk about part three. We'll give you a part three right away. So smack that like, hit the bell to notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.